Sir, are you relieved? Every game. <laughs> Scratching your head over this one? I mean, no, I, I thought it was about like it would be. I mean, I'm not saying play by play, but, but uh, I, I think it's a tough place to play. I think mean, they've got a good football team. Uh, they've had some, some knockdown, drag out from three really good SEC teams. And uh, you know, I just, it kind of was about what I thought. I thought it'd be a very tough ball game, a very hard fought ball game. They have, they, they know what they are. They execute extremely well, and in comparison to the last three or four games, I think they can do the things they have to do to move the football. I was disappointed. The only thing that was disappointing, I thought, that our third down uh, pass rush disappeared for a couple of series. And sometimes it was just uh, discipline, somebody taking the inside lane or, or getting out of the lane. Sometimes I think it was a little bit fatigued. But uh, they, they got the quarterback wandered around and hurt us on some third downs. Not good. But other than that, I thought they played pretty well. How about the series there late where they're driving it and you guys you know, stop them, forcing a good field goal there late? Well, all those were important. And then, of course, they missed two of them. One of them was long, the other one was not long. Uh, you know, I, I think it's a sign of maturity. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if you ever take the football team is to get into the season and look back and tell what it was, not what it's going to be. We're certainly not good enough to start talking about what we are and who we're going to be. But I think that they've shown a lot of maturity, and especially today, because it's much more challenging today than it was. You know, Auburn game went very similar. We found a way to break down on about four or five critical plays. Today we had some breakdowns. We found a way to bounce back and make a few plays. Well, on their final drive, obviously, they're in your territory. Moving the ball was at that point the amount of guy just had to step up and make a play and the DJ ended up, ended up making the play for you. Well, was a little bit of that. Well, he made a great play. And, you know, he's the one that was defending the ball they had caught earlier in that series. It was a huge third down play. He wasn't in that bad a position, but the guy made the play and he didn't make the play. And that's the type of thing I'm talking about. Later in that series, DJ. I'm not sure four or five weeks ago. It seems like you know we'd have a play like that and everybody would start losing the poise and not make that critical play that we got to have to. To get off the field, so that was a good sign. And there were other examples of that during the course of the game. What happened to Preston Williams? Did he get hurt? Uh, yeah, he, he he took a uh, thigh quad, a, a real deep bruise, and he wasn't running well and didn't practice hard at all. So we just didn't feel comfortable that we were you know, leaving the game plan. So so decided not to have him. He should be okay in the future. Were you surprised they went with Russell the whole game? Well, I don't know. I, I think. I think they, uh, I wasn't surprised they went with Russell, but I expected to see sort of a rotation. They did bring in the Wild Hog one time. I thought we'd see more of that. But if you go back and look at it, I think they looked at the game and saw how it was going. The defense was playing extremely well. There was no reason for them not to think that they could keep the ball game to a one score game. Tyler Russell's making some critical throws, buying time in the pocket. He ran the ball a few times and moved the sticks. So I, I just think Tyler Russell played well and they stayed with Tyler. And, uh, you know, except for a few critical plays, it's a player's game. Except for a few critical plays that our guys made, their guys didn't in the last 10 minutes of the game, they win the ball game. In the first guys, quarter, a more questions. We got one more player. In the first quarter, it seemed like the only way that, that uh, Mississippi State gained any yards was rushing right up the middle through the defensive line. Did you say something to the players, to make an adjustment? No. Well, we we did a few little things with our front, mixed it up. You uh, it, was, it was what we call run fits, is where the linebackers fit with the D line in the gaps, and also the safety were rolling the safety down to get an extra guy, and they weren't playing the cutback very well. But it's more of just a technique. In other words, instead of stopping for three yard game, they would get seven and eight and six for moving. So it, it wasn't a total change, it just makes it worse. I know it was a different coaching staff, but the playing here brings back in memory for the first time. Well, it's, 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 I just think it's a great atmosphere. It's the loudest little stadium that you'll ever see. And the cowbells and, and all the things. And they, they take a lot of pride in playing here. I was here four years and only got to one bowl game. And in the stadium, we beat Alabama, we beat Florida, we beat Georgia. Guys take a lot of pride in playing here at home, and I think their families are very supportive. So, uh, I just knew it'd be a tough ball game coming in here. It's a tough travel. All right.